Don't do that. Hey guys, hey guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. You're probably going to be watching this video several months down the line. It yeah. might even be springtime, but we wanted to make a video over winter holidays here in Canada and show you what that's like. Yeah, so basically we finished our travels, I think it was December 10th. We came back from Italy mm -hmm. and we spent a couple of weeks at home in Brampton. And originally we were going to go to Florida. We were. Yeah, this was like a few, this was a few months ago that, that was our original plan. But then we decided like, you know what there's been there's been some bad weather there this year and we decided why don't we embrace a canadian winter yeah you know what it was actually decided for us when yeah. our airbnb host canceled our reservation oh yeah that's right so, <laughs> i forgot that small detail yeah so my family started looking for other possibilities and they settled on a cottage here up north yeah we're in Sealy's bay so that's like three hours east of toronto right like near kingston and then a half hour north in the woods basically yeah it's it's not far at all from kingston and mm -hmm. it is a massive house it's got three levels We've got a really big ground level. We've got an upstairs and of course we've got a basement. And yeah, the great thing about this particular uh, vacation with family is that everyone's here. All of your sisters are here. Mm -hmm. Your sister's husband, Anthony. And we're just, we're all here. The dog's here, Togo's here. And it's just, it's been great. We've really been embracing the winter. We've been going outside, doing all kinds of things, chasing the dog, playing fetch with the dog. Yes. Also tobogganing, we're doing snowshoeing. We're gonna be maybe even snowboarding. I think your sisters are coming oh, back yeah, soon they're, with they're snowboards. Oh yeah, they're coming with snowboards. So yeah, snowboards, and then uh, just to have fun, we've all kind of been huddling around the fire, playing so games, talking, drinking lots of wine. So it's just been <laughs> wonderful. We've had a lot of family time, and we're basically just gonna show you what our, our whole experience has been like. Yeah, so this video is gonna be all about the holidays. We're here in this cottage for eight days, and we're basically gonna show you what we get up to. So we hope you enjoy this video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got my glove. Hey, give it back. <laughs> hey, hey. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. We are all dressed for winter in Canada. Oh yeah. Action. Time to go outside and do some winter activities. Let's make it happen. Go, 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 Audrey! <laughs> finish it, finish it!
Det är ditt! Du är en kiva för fan! Du är samma! Det är bank! Spring till det bank! Gå, 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 gå! Gå! Gå, 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 gå! Gå, This is where we've been hanging out every single day. We have this massive fireplace that heats up the whole space. So I would say this is probably my favorite part of the house. Just right here. We've all just been hanging out me. here, including the dog. Like yeah, the, 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 the dog's the smartest one in the house. It ends up sleeping here at night. All right, guys, so we're here in the kitchen yeah, waiting sure for are. lunch to be ready. And in the meantime, we thought. In, in the meantime, we decided we'd, uh, we'd tap into a little bit of wine. But it's not just. Not any wine. Yeah, it's not just any kind of wine. It is a wine that's very special and unique to Canada. It is yes. called ice wine. Ice wine. And how this differs from other wines is that uh, the grapes are frozen and taken right off of the vineyard. And it's a sweeter wine, it has less alcohol than most. Uh, it's typically a dessert wine to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the back here, it's showing that it's 11% alcohol. Mm -hmm. This is only a 375 milliliter bottle. So yeah. it's small, it's great to serve like with desserts and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just, it's a nice sweet wine. Yeah, it's, uh, ice wine is a bit of a luxury. It's yes. also, it's kind of expensive. So that's why yeah. we have a little bottle but, here. But you know what? I feel as though that the price has been reduced maybe because it's like the 150 uh, year of Canada. Yeah, you know, Canada's we're celebrating birthday. Our, it's Canada's birthday. We're a very young country. And yeah, we just turned 150 years old in 2017. So mm -hmm. yeah, so we're gonna celebrate here with some ice wine, raising a glass to all of you. I wish we could share it with you. Oh, yeah. What do you think? It's just, it's so sweet. It's yeah. so nice. It's, it's, it's got a, like a syrupy mm -hmm. consistency. It's very sugary. And yeah, it's just, um, it's also, I find it refreshing too. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just, it's wonderful to be drinking this. We've also been drinking a lot of other kinds of wine. Like for instance, we've got a Californian here. We've also been drinking wine from like Argentina. Yeah, so. we had a stash of international wine when yeah. we first arrived and that's been dwindling. It's been dwindling very quickly. Yeah, but, but um, this ice wine has been really good. This is our second bottle of the stuff and I really like this brand. What's this one called? Uh, let's it check say? it out. It's Vidal. Vidal? Uh, Vidal Select. Yeah, it was really good. It's yeah. a bit like liquid honey. And it's I from really Ontario it. and yeah, um, Niagara by the lake, I, apparently it's the first place Niagara to... Niagara, uh, on the I'm lake. Not, <laughs> on the lake. You can tell I'm not from <laughs> Not here. from Ontario. I'm not from Ontario. But this is kind of where, um, it, where it originated, the yeah. ice wine in Canada. And this is also where you're probably going to find most of, most of the producers today. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to get something unique from Canada to take home as a present or to bring to somebody, get the ice wine for sure. Yeah, awesome. It's done. Yeah, it's definitely done. Okay hey guys, this is hot and it's coming. It's super hot, so it's really cheesy. Oh, Sam, it's perfect. Yeah. Pero me voy a poner el azul. Ah. 
that was the dog. So this is my first time wearing snowboarding boots and it's super hard to walk. I guess it's supposed to keep you stable so you can't really bend your ankles, but I can't really bend my knees either. Okay, today we are going snowboarding. Yeah. I've never been snowboarding before, have you? Like, when I was like 10, so yeah. that was a long time ago. Anyways, one of my sisters snowboards, the other one is gonna sign up for classes, and that kind of leaves me behind, so they're gonna give me a lesson today. There should be, we'll there should be some really good wipeouts, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hopefully not, but let's go. Let's go. So lesson number one is carry your board. It's super cool, apparently. And I kind of have a cool walk already because I can't really bend my knees. I was carrying my board like this and like this, but apparently that's not cool. You gotta put it under one arm. There you go. And, you know, and we've got Togo to help out. Here. Togo to help out. Lesson number two is that I have to wear a helmet because I know nothing about snowboarding and we don't want to get a concussion. So no more hat. <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, so it should be tight enough that your foot doesn't move, but you can see that you can still wiggle your toes. Not too hard, Ari. I have big feet and they're tight boots, so I can wiggle the front toe, the big toe. But can you move the boot? No. You have big feet and they're now strapped in. Sam missed lesson number three because he was busy chasing the dog. Lesson number three was learning to walk uphill with the board strapped to one foot. Now we're moving on to lesson number four, which is... Going down a hill forward. Going down a hill forward with we're, both feet attached. We're actually getting closer to doing the real thing. Yeah. Putting on the boot? Putting on the boot. Oot the boot. Boot in a boot. Oh, in the boat. She's putting on the boot. This is half the struggle. Yes. Update, Audrey. What's going on? Oh, I'm being pulled up the hill. This is lesson. Day, my next lesson. Day two of snowboarding. You think he? I'm gonna learn to go down backwards. Let her go! Bye Audrey, have fun! There you go! Good job, okay. <laughs> this is an accident waiting to happen. Sam is not even wearing oh real God. snowboarding oh boots. Okay, He's sorry. not even strapped in properly. Wait on this leg. How about we we'll just try from here? From here? Okay. But you want to lead with this leg. Put weight on the leading leg, so put weight on your right. Paws and nose and eyes. Hmm? So today, Sam is introducing us to a sport he is all too familiar with. Oh, <laughs> Look at this, whoa. snowshoes. Snowshoes. I love this. Actually, I was first introduced to snowshoeing by mm -hmm. uh, a friend of my dad, maybe like 10 years ago. And uh, it's so much fun. Like these, these snowshoes have so much grip. They allow you to go off trail. They allow you to like, uh, like I can basically walk out into the woods. Mm -hmm. And if I was in my normal boots, I would sink in, but these have a lot of grip and it's just so much fun. It's a great workout. They're a little bit heavier than normal shoes. So uh -huh. uh, I'm just gonna show you what it's like to, to be trekking around in snowshoes here right, in Canada. Demonstrate. Very Canadian.
make a video of you running. Run like the trapper! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Oh, I'm gonna get the beast in the snow! This, a feast of feasts. What have we been feast making in the kitchen? Okay, so today we are eating empanadas, yeah. which are kind of like meat pies. They're really popular in Latin culture. Yeah. So they're actually already made. We just finished making them. These have ground beef and eggs and olives. Yeah. Um, and then we also have some of these like little lids left over. So we made dessert this. ones. Check and we this. decided this to experiment. We found a mango in the kitchen. We got a mango so in there. We just have filling it with do mango. Do you want to roll it up and demonstrate? Yep. Yeah. We also have some apple ones. And this is the last one so it's not very plump yeah it should be plump what Look at shape that. am i making all oh, right little circles little circles so you just and then you press it, it with, you press it with the fork after right a fork or you can just like squeeze it create let's, a little pattern let's see that fine detail here so we are sealing it look at my skill audrey the chef i know such talent and then we just take it and turn it into a little circle. It looks like a tortellini or some kind of pasta. And that concludes the cooking lesson because uh, we yeah. forgot to film. And we have nine people to feed, so they'll be yeah. going fast. So it's time for a little bit of science here. Um, so we've seen this trick done on, on the internet where people go outside. On the like, interwebs. On the interwebs, <laughs> they go outside with boiling hot water and like throw it in the air and it like turns into snow. Um, and we've always wanted to try it. So it's cold enough here, it's um, 30 below. So we're just boiling a bit of water on the stove and we're yeah. going to go outside and experiment and hopefully not burn our faces or our hands. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna say it on three. One, two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Happy New Year.